Hi, this is Alex with Designs by Blue Star. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use this financial statement template that's in Google Sheets. It's also available in uh, Excel, but this one, uh, this walkthrough is in Google Sheets. First things first, there are four different statements. You have your balance sheet, your income statement, also called a profit and loss statement, your cash flow, and your statement of equity. And these are all tied together, so you want to be very careful when you're um, erasing things or deleting things. Just a general rule in Excel, too. You don't ever want to take something and drag it, because that will really screw with your formulas. Instead, you always just kind of want to copy and paste. Here you can see is the um, blank template. Over here, right I have one that is completely filled out. I always include an example with my templates just because I think it makes it easier for you guys to see actual numbers. I know that's how my brain works, so I want to see what it looks like when there's actual numbers. So when I'm entering my stuff, if something looks funky, I can go back and look at the example. So here's this, just to make it simple. Well, first, let's do, let's update our company name. And here you can change it to whatever date you want it to be. If you want a June 30th year end date or if you change that on the balance sheet template, all your other templates change too. So here you just enter in whatever your amount is. I am gonna be real honest. I'm just gonna copy this in from here. I've already done it, so. But what you would do is you'd look at your prior year information and key it in and then key in this information or copy and paste it in from QuickBooks or whatever you're using for your accounting software. So down here is showing me it's a check. This should be zero because your assets equal your liability plus owner's equity. So you need to be careful on this one because this is a formula. So your retained earnings is going to be your retained earnings from last year plus your net profit from this year. As you can see, I don't have anything in here which is why it's not balancing yet. But you can see here, let's do this. I'm off $191,861. You can see that was the profit over here. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do the same thing. And these, you, I mean, you can rename these as you want to, sales, interest, whatever it may be. And you want to be very careful deleting any rows on the balance sheet just because the cash flow statement, you have to take the beginning the beginning balance. So it would have to take like 2023 and 2024 balance to do any subtractions or um, to see your change. Here, you don't have that on your income statement. So if you need to delete something, it's not as big a deal. If you want to add something, it's fine. The balance sheet is just where you need to be really careful. Once again, I'm going to be lazy, and I'm just going to do this. But you can rename these to whatever you want to. Rent. I already have a rent. Let's do advertising and marketing. So you can go and you can rename these things if you need to. You can add extra rows. Like I said, you can add things or delete things in your income statement without it being an issue. Because the only thing, um, you just need to be careful with depreciation expense and then your total net income. Okay, so now we're going to the cash flow. Cash flows are a little trickier. There are some formulas set up in place. So you can see here, based on what we've entered, that's coming from our income statement. That's your depreciation and amortization your gain and loss on sale of equipment, and your proceeds and your capital expenditures, that is all coming from this section. So here you need to know, um, did you sell any of your PP&E, also called fixed assets, PP&E is property, plant, and equipment. Did you purchase anything 
um, what was your gain, things like that. So looking at this, those balances are the same and those are the same. This one went up $100,000. So this isn't a real company, but in my example, I would say, okay, I purchased $100,000. Since cash went out of my bank account, that's a negative. I'm in the wrong line, capital expenditures. There we go, $100,000. And I can tell down here, I still am missing $25,000 of my cash flow. There's the beginning balance of my cash, which is coming from right there. There's my ending balance, which is right there. So let's go look and look at my back. Let's go and look at the balance sheet and see what else happened. Oh, I can see right there my debt went down. So I paid off part of my debt. Repayment of debt. There you go. So here is the statement of equity. You can see um, if you get a blank one, that is going to be empty. So you will need to know what your balance is. When I pull it from here, I can see it's that. So let's do that. And this is taking your beginning equity plus your income get you your ending equity. So you can see for 2024, there's 1,964,000, which matches that, plus my net income, gets me to my ending balance, which is the same as that. If you would have any owners, if you would have any owner's draws or repurchase or anything else like that, you would enter that in here too. So that is pretty much the balance sheet and income statement, the whole financial set. This is a set of four. Um, if you have any questions, you can always reach out, but that's you know a simple walkthrough of how it works. Like I said, be very careful changing your formulas on the balance sheet because the cash flow, it's a, uh, you know, it's not that much fun to do. <laughs> um, and so you wanna make sure those formulas are in check and because each, you know, if you have a formula for the income statement, or sorry, for the assets, it is different than the formula for the liabilities. So that's why I have these in here. If you need to rename them, that's fine. Just rename them other liabilities, other liabilities. And then just go over here and make sure you do other liabilities here. Can't type today. All right. Well, thank you. And like I said, that the link to this will be in the description and it's available in Google Sheets and Excel. This is obviously your Google Sheets walkthrough. So, but it works the exact same in Excel. Nothing's different, just a different spreadsheet or a different uh, software application. So great. Thanks. Have a great day. And if you like this, please like and subscribe.